So food insecurity has different definitions, but the simplest that I kind of use to focus on my work is the inability or inadequate access or limited access to adequate food for a healthy lifestyle. It's thinking about um, that they have enough food, that the food is safe, that it's nutritious for them, that it's also culturally appropriate and relevant for what they like to eat. But another thing about food insecurity too is that um, it, it really is about acquiring or accessing food in socially acceptable ways. I would say it's a wicked problem because it is not something that you can solve just by focusing on one area. There has to be a collaborative effort in solving food insecurity. And when your collaborative efforts are focused in one area more so than the other, it is difficult to end it or to solve it. It relies on the structures around the household and the family. So it relies on laws, it relies on zoning and how um, different communities are zoned and how infrastructure is developed in those communities. It relies on investment and whether investors see the um, the value of investing in these areas, things like grocery stores, restaurants, um, the, the investment of infrastructure like public transportation. A car could be a resource that people don't have and that could affect their ability to, um, to get food. I think this is one of the biggest misconceptions is that people in poverty are the only ones that can experience food insecurity. As a matter of fact, um, people in in low, middle, and high income countries can experience food insecurity at different times. Hunger is a physical manifestation, but somebody can be uh, hunger, hungry and food insecure, but not everybody who is food insecure is also experiences hunger. Every disease, every costly disease that you can think about in the United States is associated um, with food insecurity, whether directly or indirectly, um, in the long term or in the short term, their food insecurity does have an effect on health. And especially with children, it is very detrimental for their development. It's really complex. It, it involves people and um, politics and policies and laws and money and income and preference and access and it's just incredibly, it's an incredibly deep-rooted problem.